are a non-profit organization. Uh, what we do is actually we support young African businesses uh, that have a social impact, that have an env environmental impact, but of course that are in the first place uh, have the potential to become profitable or are already profitable. We support them with coaching. We also provide access to finance. A big dimension of it is about financing, but also and perhaps more importantly about coaching. And I think, you know, I don't want to prioritize either, but in the end of the day, coaching is certainly as important as, as access to finance. So I think that's, that's, that's important. And if we can, in our own modest way, contribute to that, included by hosting you this evening, I'm, I'm very happy uh, to do that. First, I'd like to give my appreciation to the ambassador for hosting uh, the networking event and, of course, also for the support of OVO. I think the network that we already have, but we further try to expand, we all share, everybody in the, in the network shares the same belief, and that is that entrepreneurs do make a difference. Eh? There is a lot of challenges in the world, and it's entrepreneurs that actually can come up with solutions, and that's why we really believe in them and that we really want to support them. If I can describe the role of OVO, it has changed throughout the years, I think. Today, I would describe it as we are the network facilitator. We try to bring people together, companies together, and make them work together, all for the same aim, and that is indeed coming up with the right solutions. And very important, it goes in all directions. It's not Europe to Africa, but it's Europe, Africa, Africa, Europe, and of course also Europe companies, people among themselves and also here in Africa. One of the things that we actually dream of is in, the, in a few years have a study trip of companies coming from West African countries, coming to East Africa to see what the, the colleagues are doing because a lot of projects are doing the same and we can learn a lot from each other. I would thank everybody that already is part of the network to, to work with us. It's, uh, it's, it's great that you actually also make it happen together with us. If I zoom into Rwanda, uh, thanks to the network, we have made in the past uh, three investments. This year we made another three investments, so we're growing. Earlier this week we onboarded uh, six new companies in the Accelerator program. Well, we hope actually to invest in all of them, but let's wait and see how far we can go. What OVO has done uh, with the time they have been here, it was very interesting in terms of making sure that they provide practical coaching program to the entrepreneurs. Most of the startups have been really passing through different incubation and acceleration programs. And uh, when it comes to the part of accessing finance, it would really bring uh, more challenges and we see OVO providing more open opportunities to ensure that we really secure uh, the funds and investment from either OVO uh, investors as well as also their open network. And also with OVO Business Club Rwanda, uh, what we want to do is that uh, most of the people who are passing through this coaching program, we are highly committed in what we are doing. So as of now, uh, what we wanted to prioritize with the other members of OVO here in Rwanda is to ensure that now we support from each other as a dental entrepreneurs. What we see in Rwanda is that a lot of businesses are actually using IT and that's something typical for Rwanda, I think. And we were thinking maybe the creative sector, that is also something that uh, is uh, becoming bigger and bigger in Rwanda. So maybe that is something that we also have to look into for the future uh, to, to focus also more or try to onboard more companies that are also uh, operating in that sector.